Hey everybody, um, right now I am at Restaurant Depot. So I'm looking at their um, savings for this September. And they have like, let's see, some all-purpose flour, 25 pounds for $8.99. So try to look and see if you have a Restaurant Depot. So here's a little tea, okay? If you shop at Whole Foods, sorry, if you shop at Sam's Club, Costco, BJ's, all the wholesalers, Restaurant Depot, nine times out of 10, is cheaper. But most people are not aware of Restaurant Depot, and this is what it looks like, Restaurant Depot, simply because Re Restaurant Depot requires um, you to have a business license to shop. However, I'm gonna give you a little tea, a little tea, okay? If you wanna shop in bulk, or just go around and see the prices in Restaurant Depot because I'm telling you there's some good prices in there for stuff and also it's a wholesaler so like even like they said they sell breads and stuff like that for like bakeries and delis and sandwich making places um so the bread is like bigger because it's like restaurant bulk right so if you have a large family of course that's a plus plus right so yeah shop Restaurant Depot but again, it requires a business license however, most people don't know I'm gonna give you the little gist you can get in there on like a trial basis um or like a visitor so you can ask like hey um when you go in there you can ask when you go to restaurant depot you have to look in your area because there's not a lot of them there's not a lot of them um so you have to see if it's in your area they're open seven days a week monday through friday um they are closed on typically like major holidays federal holidays um government holidays but um, you can go in there and you can ask for like a day pass. Um, but it actually doesn't, it's not hard to get. You just can go and get, um, you don't have to have a business license. You have a resale license because they believe that if you're going to shop here, you're going to resell the items because it's in bulk. So um, to get a resale license is actually not really hard to get. So you can go ahead and go to your um, local government and ask them what it requires for a resale license um, for us we just went to i believe we just i mean you can google it i think we did googled it when we got ours um just say resale license in your state whatever state you're in and it'll give you the information that's necessary to get one but even if you don't want to go that far and do that you would just go ahead and you can actually go to restaurantdepot.com or you can google it and contact them they should have a contact number um i think they, i believe they have a 1-800 number and then they also have the local number of the um the warehouse that's that's closer to like where you live at in your state and you can give them a call and ask them like hey i just need a day pass um what does it require or do you guys allow day passes and when i tell you i'm going to show you guys what it looks like in there okay it's sam's club and BJ's on steroids because again, restaurants shop here, businesses shop here, so it's insane. So I'm gonna show you the prices that they have there, okay? Here we go. So I am, this is their cart, right? <laughs> this is their rolly. This one looks a little stuck. Is it stuck? I have to get it up here. It's like a little hump. You know what, let's go ahead and get another one. I see some over there. So this is how it looks like when you first come in. And you actually have to beat your card. Oh, let me get mine. Out of my bag. Why did this just close? Ma'am. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. So this is how the warehouse looks like. So these are like onions. And then if you go over here, if you go over here, they have like peppers. These are like dried peppers. So say for instance, this bag right here. Ooh, my bad, I took it off. This whole bag of peppers, these dried peppers, these are persilla. I don't use these, persilla. Um, peppers five pounds 
well actually this is for ginger my bad it's so down here ginger <laughs> is nine dollars and 66 cents for this whole thing of ginger this whole thing nine dollars and 66 cents so i'm gonna get this because this is a staple of my home and then they also have garlic um loose garlic for $14.20 or you can buy it in the case I'm not gonna get those today sorry <laughs> so this is the cold area I'm gonna take you guys in Oops. so I'm gonna show you guys like the salad area and what this looks like so these are like the salad areas it's really cold in here guys um, this is Sometimes you have to look for the pricing because it's not always like to your eye or you can ask somebody for help. So like this one is spinach. Well, it's supposed to be spinach. This is not spinach. So like I said, you gotta look for the pricing sometimes. Let's see what this one is. Okay. These ones, leaf greens. And it's for this entire case of leaf greens for $26.75. And it's this entire case. Like, it's a lot of greens. Um, I believe this is spinach. Yeah, this is spinach. Um, this is artisan lettuce. This entire case of artisan lettuce is $20.00. And 22 cents or you can get just one of them and it's three dollars and 37 cents for just one of these I want to get this box I think last time I got it was like five six seven eight dollars something like that but I definitely want this box so I'm gonna get a box and then I'll inquire what the price is because I don't see it listed here So you have to be careful the floor gets wet it's an industrial warehouse so we're just gonna go down and continue to look so these is like all vegetables in this area and things like that and so this is literally how it looks okay and then they have more like salads and stuff over here like pre-made cut up lettuce so say for instance, this is the mixed salad bag. This is about, how much is this? This is five pounds of mixed salad, garden salad. And it's $7, let's see, $7.31. Or you can purchase it in a box of $29.24. all right like right here this is broth well this is kale a bag of kale for five dollars and 28 cents and let's see how big it is i'm trying to show y'all but also not being people way so this is how big it is it's about how many pounds is it does it let, let me know it says four count it's four heads of kale for five dollars and 24 cents guys These are avocados for $16.65. Um, I would get these at Sam's Club. I honestly feel like Sam's Club is cheaper for these. Cucumbers for $5.82. This whole entire bag. So even if you're thinking about like you want to feed the homeless and things like this, this is a great place to come to because the prices are amazing for some things. Obviously, you want to compare shop to compare shop to um, Sam's Club, Costco, BJ's, but they also have meats here as well. I remember last time we purchased a whole box of like chicken wings for like a hundred. It was like a hundred dollars or like 99 dollars and those chicken wings lasted us for like four months because it was in a huge big case so then they have 
baby back ribs for $2.61 a pound. Here they have it for $3.18 per pound. Um, St. Louis pork ribs. And let's see, this one is how many pounds? This one is 10.63. I actually think this is cheaper at Sam's. Okay, so these are the jumbo chicken wings for $2.61 a pound. And this is literally how much chicken wings you get. So it's a lot. Let's see how many pounds it is though. I can't even see how much it is. This one is 40 pounds. So it'd be 40 times two. So it's about, mm, about $80, $90. So it's the same price for all those chicken wings. That's actually a really good price. But I don't need that right now. Over here we have like turkey bacon. So their turkey bacon here is three dollars and twenty eight cents um, for this brand, and then they have several brands. <laughs> this one is the Good Shows, but this says beef bacon. So it's beef bacon here for six dollars. This one's three dollars and twenty eight cents, and this is three fifty eight. And then they have like cheese all kind of cheeses down here pita bread um, as well they have a seafood section more cheese as well and they have like a little juice section for like orange juice juice so let's see how what the price is comparable to so this gallon of orange juice is seven dollars and 84 cents they also have this tree ripe orange juice for $3.73. It is not from concentrate, it's 100% orange juice. I'm gonna go ahead and get one. And then they have, you can buy them in the small bottles for like if you have vending machines. And then this one is $18.84. So let's see how much these ones are. This one, the mango smoothie, is $18.49 for a pack of two, four, six, eight for eight. Um, but it is a larger one, it's 15 ounces. So it's not small at all. So those are some of the things that are in this section. So this is all in the refrigerated section, of course. Now, they do have like breaded chicken, like chicken wings, like things that you would get from like your local carryout and stuff like that. This is where they come. This is where they come. Some of them sometimes like they'll do like I do compare prices at like Sam's Club and stuff like that. But this is where they come. They have sushi as well. So let's go over here and look at what this looks like, guys. So this is the sushi section. They have seaweed salad. Let's see what the seaweed salad is. I don't know if this is a favorite for some people. I don't even see the price. This is sometimes this is the thing you'll run into. You don't see the price. So you have to ask around. I don't feel like doing that right now. They have sushi ebi. Is that what it says? That one is for the whole entire case is $74. So if you're into that, that's that. They also have tuna. And then they have crabs here. All right. Um, they got this whole box of Golden King crab, 10 pound for $325. So come to Restaurant Depot. Some of you mukbangers don't even know about Restaurant Depot. You would save a lot of money here at Restaurant Depot as well. So it's definitely worth it if either you have a very, very large family or you you know have some kind of restaurant business or you're trying to do some kind of homeless you know give back service this is definitely something that you could be interested in and do now my kids requested some um, spring rolls so let me see if they got some 
I don't know if it's over here or I gotta find out where it's at. Here we go. It's this fridge is leaking a little bit, but these are egg rolls for $33. Oh, this this is a lot. I don't think I'm gonna get these for them. It's some more expensive than I thought it would be. See if we can find See if we can find cheaper. If not, then maybe next time. These are dumplings, vegetable and pork dumplings for $12 and 21 cents. So I'm not seeing the ones that we had last time. The funnel cake, $11.89 for this whole box of funnel cake. Crazy, right? Funnel fries. Onion rings, gourmet onion rings, these are $20. These are the appetizer section. So they have some stuff here. They have fish as well that you can buy, either fresh or frozen. Soft pretzels. I'm trying to see if they have wings, like little buffalo wings things. This is fish, frozen salmon, $8.77 per pound. These are the breaded chicken wings that they have here. So like if at the restaurant, if they don't want to make them from scratch, they would just buy it from here and resell them at their store. So this one is This is also a breaded chicken sandwich, um, chicken side, and so they have popcorn chicken here for $25 and 70, what, $25 and 99 cents for 10 pounds of popcorn chicken. I might get that. <laughs> I might get vegetables here as well. On this side, they have gyros here, or gyro for, gyro actually, gyros for, $44.90 for a 10 pound box. And it just goes on and on guys. It's so much like, I'm just running you guys through. This is frozen lamb. How many pounds? 30 pounds of frozen lamb. Let's see, 30 pounds of frozen lamb. Can we see the price? Can we get the price? We Can, can we get it? <laughs> See, I, I can't find the price for that, I'm sorry. But then we also have beef cow foot cut 25 pound box for all my West Africans and Africans and Nigerians and honestly, all my black people abroad. Okay, <laughs> um, $2.35 per pound. Let's see what that looks like actually. It's cold in here guys, I'm freezing for y'all. I'm freezing for y'all. Let's see if we can look. This looks like. Ooh. I'm working with one hand. So this is what it looks like, cow foot. It is $2.35 per pound for a 25 box. So you're spending about $45 to $50. <sighs> oh, it's cold. It's spending about 50 something dollars with tax, almost 60 probably, for cow feet. 25 pounds though, a lot of it. Cow foot. Ooh, it is cold. We have steak um, meat, cheese steak meat for $20.70 um, $20 for 10 pounds of it. $21.71. That's how it looks like. 10 pounds of it. 
Let me show you guys. This is how it looks. 10 pounds. Halal. Or halal. This is chicken steak for $21.21. These are a whole case of, a whole case of oranges between 40 to 48 count for $46. Honeydew melons, a whole case for $20. The case has two, four, five. Looks like five in a case for $21 about. This is squash. Um, how many pounds? I don't know. But $14 and, well, $14 and three cents for the entire box of squash. For this entire box of cauliflower, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve for thirty dollars. This entire case of cucumbers, a uh, case of twelve for twenty dollars, and this entire case of cucumbers. Um, does it say how many it is? I mean, it's just this entire case. It looks like it might be about 20 or maybe more than that in there for $23.38. So that's everything. Then they have breakfast items here as well. So let's just see if we can pull one real quick. This chicken sausage patties. Let's see. It is all the way up there. $41.96. For about how many pounds per pound and that's 10 pounds of chicken sausage all natural this turkey sausage um, breakfast patties 10 pounds is also let's see how much it is if we can find it okay this is pizza stuff so it might be somewhere down here See, here we go, searching for the price. We can't find it. Searching for the price. Maybe look on this store. Is it up here? Okay, $47.27. A case of corn for $30. $30 for a case of corn. And if you get more than five, then it's $27. And that's what it looks like. It's an entire case. I'm thinking about getting it. <laughs> Look at this whole case of avocados. I'm not gonna get it, maybe next time. These are green beans, a whole case, whole entire wooden case of green beans for $31.16. Beautiful. All right, let's go, it's cold. So let's go ahead and get out of here. It's freezing. <laughs> it's so cold. It's so, so cold. So here's my little stuff. Okay, this is wheat bread for how much? Two dollars. If you need catering materials, they also have that for like weddings, barbecues, whatever you might have. They have tongs, all kind of plastic wear. Again, you always want to compare prices between them and Sam's Club and Costco. But honestly, if you have any kind of business, nine times out of ten, Restaurant Depot is cheaper. Like this is bounty paper towels for six twenty six dollars and thirty two cents for a twenty seven pack of paper towels. 
and they're huge. They're not the normal size. This one is $15.03 for 15 large rolls of paper towels. Ultra strong. $15. And sorry, I resumed in, y'all. Let me zoom out. $15.03. And then they have tissue here. I gotta zoom in because I can't really see by myself. But that is $28.80. $28.80 for a 36 pack. 36 pack of Scott tissue. 1,000 um, per sheet rolls. I do believe in Sam's Club. It might be comparable. I don't. I can't remember how many rows it is. It might be like 20 something rows for pretty much the same price. This one has about 10 more rows in it. And I'm gonna get it. <laughs> well, actually, let me see if they have something cheaper because I love a, I love a deal. Oh, uh, okay, so this one is an off brand, but it's also still a thousand, she uh, thousand sheets per row, but it's 20 of them in there. 100% recyclable and $17.15 by White Swan, one ply. I think I would rather spend the extra dollars and get 36 rows. So that's what I'm gonna do. So then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go down a few more rows so y'all can see. Got this basmati rice, uh, 20 pounds for $19.81. It's $4.25 for one of these uh, sweet chili sauces, or for an entire case is $36.99. And it's a huge bottle. This is, how many ounces? 32 ounces. $4, well, five, well, $4.25, yep. My kids love this stuff. It tastes better than sweet and sour. Okay. Have some Jamaican stuff here. Aki. Aki. Let's see how much this one is. Um, is it right there? Eight dollars and seventy-four cents per can. Washing. Well, yeah, case is one seventy-two. Oxtail seasoning. Oh, these Scotch bonnet sauces are so spicy. My husband loves them. Let's get this one. Two dollars. So much rice. What it well, actually no, I think this is flour. Is this flour? Black bean. These are black beans. Fifty pounds for thirty-eight dollars and four cents. I need some beans too. So let's see what kind of beans they got. I don't want any canned ones. We have some beans already, but if they have a good price, I'll get some. Pimento beans, no, not really our thing. Kidney beans, mm. okay. They definitely don't have the beans I'm looking for, but that's okay. We can keep going. This red hot, um, hot sauce. For thirteen dollars thirty cents for this big one. I don't need that today. Let's see. This big thing of mumbo sauce, eighteen dollars and forty one cents. Why is it so dark? Mumbo sauce is usually not that dark.
What is that? Barbecue sauce restaurant recipe. Boom boom sauce. If you love it, $26. Is it $12 for this entire case of barbecue sauce? Don't need it. Let's see what else. Ketchup, all type of different dressings and condiments. Beans in the can. And then they also have seasonings over here, so let's go and see how much they are compared to the store. So we have some Sazon. Sazon. This one is a pack, it's $3.28 for a pack of 20. Adobo. Let's see. This one's $4.64. For one pound of a double seasoning then they have the sazon here let's see how much this one is is that eight dollars and seventy cents for this i don't feel like i need this so i'm not gonna get it i'm just leaving my purse everywhere curry powder if you like, get them in a bag. Cumin powder. Mango pulp. $3.03. I honestly believe that this is what they use to make um, mango lassi. Probably. It looks good though. And then they have ghee. I don't even see the price for that, but. Oh, this is a big pot. Is this a wok? This is a frying pan, $28. So also pan, frying pans and um, all kind of like cast iron pots. Like this one is a cast iron pot, large 12 inch skillet for $32.03. You can also resell this stuff, guys. You can come here, buy some stuff in bulk, resell it on eBay. I'm, like, I'm, I'm putting you up one game. I'm putting you up one game, okay? Then also like some dish rags here, kitchen cloths. This one's fourteen dollars and forty-eight cents, nine dollars and ninety-one cents, or you can get the microfiber ones for fourteen dollars and eighty-four cents. I don't think I really need some right now, so I'm not going to get any. And I have. I purchased one of these two years ago and it's still in really good condition. We have some more storage containers. These little bowls here are really, really great. And they get bigger and bigger. This is just the smaller ones. Then they have, it goes, bigger and bigger and bigger this is the biggest one they have and this is a 30 quart and it's only $21.50 for this big one we have I think we have about four of these already so I don't need any more oh I do need a pitcher though so let's they have a good pitcher here um is that the price up there Okay, the two pack is $19.05 for this one. Real aesthetic, real aesthetic. And it's 32 ounce lid. This is actually a really good price. Um, I kinda I kinda wanna get it. But let me see, because I really need like a pitcher. That one's $14.82 for this pitcher. Does it come with a top? Then it comes with a top. 42 ounces. I think I'm gonna get that one. How much is that one?
picture clear 60 ounces this one that's open this one that's open oh let me zoom out for you guys this one that's open is six dollars but this i feel like it's too small for my house and how much is this one that one's really pretty 16 dollars 90 ounce i believe this one it's huge but it's like no top on it though really pretty plastic not glass um i think i might get this one i'm not sure what was the price fourteen dollars and eighty six cents but then this one has like the lid for twenty dollars i think i might get this one guys i like this one better let me get this one Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. We got 24 count spoons, not super fancy for six dollars and sixty-two cents. Twenty-four pieces. Or you can get the fancier ones up here for nine dollars and seventy-two cents for twenty-four count. These ones are I would say are the most fanciest ones. Um, you can just tell the quality the quality looks better. And this is for sixteen dollars and sixty cents for twelve of them. Very, very heavy. They also have knives. This one's really pretty. I'm just showing you guys around before I check out. Aprons. These are all the like the linen type of fabric, urban ones. $29. These are more expensive ones. These are the cheaper ones down here. Just a regular chef. Like aprons. I'm gonna take you guys to this section. Look at this buffet pizza. I'm gonna take you down and show you guys. They have more pictures over here. This one's 19. Oh, is this a salad spinner? How much is it? $30.47. This is pretty big though. Which one is this one? Thick or green? Okay, that's not that. This is $24.36. I believe. Hold on. It might not be. Let's see if it's a girl. Okay, sorry. Muffin pan. Uh oh. $12.74. I believe this one is for this one. $24. But I don't know how many it is. Two, four, six, eight. It's about 30 I believe. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 for $24. dollars This really big pot at the bottom is $56 and 33 cents for this big, 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 big soup pot. I mean, at this point, you can do a crab bowl in there. <laughs> Seriously. I'm 
These are all like coffee creamers and tea stuff. And this is the ramen section, so not so individually. This case of shrimp ramen is $7.64, and then they have $7.40 for the beef ramen. How many is in here? Oh, it doesn't say, oh, does it say? Yeah, 24. 24 pieces, $7. I think I will get one. Ooh. Then they have these chips. Let's see what this one is. Uh, the Cheetos single serve spicy, um, $19.84 for 50 bags. Thirty bigger bags for nineteen dollars, or is it up here? Twenty dollars for thirty of them, or you can get fifty of them for nineteen dollars. Um, these are like the spicy ones, I guess. Fifty bags, though, that's not bad. I'm trying to see if I should get them because my kids love spicy stuff. Let's look around. The spicy Doritos 50 bags for $20 as well. So again, if you have like a vending machine business or you're thinking about it, this is definitely the place to be. These cookies are $16.64 for 36 pack or 38 pack. I do need a soup base. So let me go over here and see. Um, what's the one I bought last time? I bought this last time, three dollars and eighty fifty eight cents, and three dollars and fifty nine cents for the beef. These are great soup bases. My hands are getting ashy. Okay, so I'm gonna eat these two, and this soup base makes a lot of soup. Um, let me see if it tells me again. It makes up to five gallons of soup. This is a quick, easy go-to way of making some broth without like having to boil or just go through the whole task of hours and hours of boiling meat and bones. Of course, that's always the best way though, but. This is for 48 cups of Pringles mix, $21. They have mixed nuts over here, peanuts, $12. $17 for this box. Good, right? Four, 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 four. $1.31. I mean, candy galore. My kids will love me. Halloween's coming up. We can come here. Candy cheese, $7. $10.76 for five pounds of these Alba Louise, but these are butterflies. I think I might get some for my kids. <laughs> They'll love me forever and ever. $14 for these. Are these also? I think these are also butterflies. Are these gummy bears? Or you can get an entire case of them for $42, but that's 
kind of ridiculous. Nine dollars uh, for these lollipops, a big bag of lollipops. Three hundred pops, peanut and gluten free. I'll get them these ones. Let me go ahead and go and then I will show you guys what I got.